Hey fam, welcome to the channel. My name's Kim. You're now tuned in to Sweet Kiss Creations. Listen, let me tell you so. God gave me a prophetic dream. And oh my goodness, this word right here, I'm gonna need y'all to hit this bell. Okay, I'm gonna need you to hit this bell. Glory be to God. Reba de la Boshata. Listen. Whew. The father is saying, just as I was with Daniel in the lion's den, I am with you. Okay, listen. Some of you, you may have experienced a narcissistic family member, maybe one, two, three, four. Mm, I, I understand because it resonates with me, right? And these people came up against you just to come up against you. These people spread lies around, maybe in your circle, hmm, just to defame your character. Huh? But we understand that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, that it was the work of the enemy, right? But this is why. The reason why they did these things is because you are the curse breaker. You are the chosen one. And don't come on here with no religious spirit. Listen, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. A, ch a chosen person is a person that has an ordained assignment from the father. A chosen one like Joseph, huh? To save his whole family. A chosen one like David, huh? The oddball, the scapegoat. All right. Now God is saying they will be disgraced. Glory be to God. He's saying they will be disgraced. He said he had to separate you from them. In this season, if you pay attention, the narcissism thing been popping up a lot. And the world thinks that that originated from the world. But the narcissist, the narcissistic person, the narcissist is nothing but a Jezebelic spirit. Okay? So, a person that tries to deceive or, you know, have control. And it's, you know, it's different types, right? It's the spirit of the thing. So the father is saying they will be disgraced. Okay, I'm reminded of Daniel when he did nothing but serve the most high God. He even had favor with the king so much so that and, and, and read Daniel 6, my God. When he, in the name of Jesus, listen to me. Daniel did nothing but serve God, pray to his God, and these people came up against him. They said the only way that we could we could we could get him out of pocket is if 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 we come up against his belief, because he loves to pray to his God, right? So because you love God with all your heart, it's not saying that you that you're per perfect. Who is perfect? No one. Jesus. That's it, right? But instead of saying that. Your heart is after God. God does not look at the bells and whistles. He searches the man's heart. You love God. Glory be to God. And he knows that you love him. This is why he has chosen you to break off those ancestral altars. To break off those generational curses off your family line. Glory be to God. Right? My God today is by the most high God. Rebe kure shata. No man knows another man's thoughts except by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit even knows the thoughts of God. Glory be to God. This is how I know these things. Glory be to God. God is saying you will not be disgraced. Hmm? He is with you. Don't worry about that family member. Maybe it was your mother. It was a cousin. It was people that were in close proximity to you. They tried to defame your character. But God said... I am working on your case. The curse is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. People don't understand when they start speaking negative words that these are word curses. When they start speaking against your destiny, especially when it's the will of God for your life. That is witchcraft because you are out of alignment with the Lord. Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Huh? Manipulation, lying, deception. That is all low level witchcraft. Even if you're not actively practicing rituals, my God. Mm, 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 mm. You will not be disgraced. Listen, I love you all with the love of Christ, and we will talk soon. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus.